We now return to truck stops on Modern Marvels. Every night, more than 250,000 truckers pull into truck stops for refuge. And every one of them needs a place to tuck in his rig for the night. But there's a problem. Truck stops in many U.S. states don't have enough parking space. So engineers are busy at work developing new sites. They're built from below the ground up, beginning with the most indispensable assets of any truck stop, the diesel tanks. Here on my left is an 8-foot diameter, 10,000-gallon fuel storage tank, typical of what you would find at your neighborhood gas station. Compared to that, on my right is a 30,000-gallon tank that is typical of a truck stop. This tank is 20 feet longer in length. It's two feet larger in diameter. It's a 10-foot diameter tank, and it's triple the capacity. At Containment Solutions in Bakersfield, California, Tank manufacturing fabricators construct these 30,000-gallon double-walled truck stop tanks one piece at a time. What you see going on behind me is the rotation of our steel mandrel, which is the basis of tank forming. We apply resin, glass fibers, and treated silica to build a composite laminate that is formed on this mold in uh, multiple passes. Next, fabricators add plastic reinforcing ribs to the mold. Wrapped with the seam fiberglass materials, these ribs give the tank all the strength it needs for its long life underground. After the tank sections are cured, workers pull them from the mold, seal them together, and pressure test them to ensure that they won't leak fuel. Any leak could prove environmentally disastrous, since the tanks of a typical truck stop dispense a whopping one million gallons of diesel over the course of a month. And the pumps tapping into them fuel four times faster than those at a neighborhood gas station. In a kind of mechanical symbiosis, completed tanks make their way to the truck stop on the beds of trucks.